Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Got something fresh and new for you today. We're taking a look at Manjaro Cutefish, new desktop environment that is community driven for Manjaro. But before I get started, I want to remind you all to like and subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, if you do like and subscribe, you're entered into the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway that we're doing on August 31st, 2021. Now, I've booted Manjaro Cutefish into a virtual machine, and this is what you're met with, Manjaro Hello. This is a nightly build of Manjaro Cutefish, and you've got the same readme documentation, release info, wiki, you got forums, discover software, mailing lists, get involved, development, donate if you want to donate to the developers, and then launch the installer. On the desktop, you have the Calamaris desktop installer, and you got the Manjaro documentation. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and close out of this and kind of just take it in a little bit. It really resembles Mac OS X. It is beautiful. The background is beautiful. I like the layout. I'm going to start right away and just right click. You can do a new folder, select all, open in terminal, change background. Let's see what other backgrounds they might have. Let's go with that one. It's not so bright and we can see a little better. So let's go down to the launcher. It comes with Bluetooth manager, calculator, file manager, settings. Let's go ahead and take a tour of the settings real quick. We're on a wired because I'm in a virtual box. Make sure I got the Wi-Fi shut off because it will sit there and drain the battery. Display, we're running at 1920 by 1080. Appearance, it comes in a light theme. Oh, it does have a dark theme, so we can do that and dim the wallpaper in dark theme. Well, I'll be. If you notice the background, watch the wallpaper. When you go to a dark theme, you can actually flip this on and not only will your menus and applications be in dark you can actually make it to where your wallpaper will dim as well that's pretty impressive you got accent colors you can choose from blue red green purple fuchsia and orange i think i'll go with the red kind of like that background we just did let's go back to appearance okay font size small medium large i don't know because it is a nightly build they may not have that all set up yet but I'll leave it on medium dock on the dock you can have it on the bottom you can have it on the left or you can have it on the right just one click and it moves it you can make it small medium large or huge I think I'll stick with the medium user you can put all your information in here language you can set it up for whatever language you want to use it in battery tells you you're at 92% two hours and 51 minutes remaining and about this is version 0.2 of Cutefish OS. System type is x86-64, kernel version 5.10.42-1, Manjaro. Processor is AMD Ryzen 5. I've given it two CPUs. RAM, 4 gigabytes, and internal storage, 195 point megabytes of 3 gigabytes. That is what I'm running in the virtual machine. So let's go ahead and close back out of that. Go back into launcher. You get Firefox. Let's go ahead and open Firefox. And it is in the dark environment too. What I want to do right here is go customize toolbar. Let's get rid of that title bar so we're not taking any more room up here necessary. Manjaro Cutefish. There are some articles on it. Uh, they got a lot of information over at GitHub, but it is a great looking desktop environment let's close out of Firefox let's go back into launcher you've got your firewall your Manjaro user guide your Manjaro hello your Manjaro settings manager if you click on that you can do your locale settings language packs kernel user accounts time and date keyboard settings hardware configuration close out of that you've got Kate you've got console let's see if it comes with HTOP HTOP does not come with HTOP try top okay it does come with top and right now that is really impressive at rest it's only using 673 megabytes got 1754 megabytes in buffer cache and 1500 megabytes is free so it is not heavy on resources at all so that's impressive add and remove software let's see what we got on add and remove software so you've got your Manjaro software area what you can do is you can go over here preferences 
check for updates. Update checks frequently. Every six hours, automatically download updates. Hide tray icon when no update. Parallel downloads. Use mirrors from worldwide. You can refresh your mirrors, advanced, and third party. So you will have AUR support. Arch user repository will be supported in Manjaro Cutefish. What I don't see is flat packs and snaps. Being how it's a nightly build, I don't know if that'll be a part of the final build or not, but I'll, I'll keep you all updated on that. So let's close out of that. Pulse audio preferences. You can come over here and set up your pulse audio preferences right there. Everything looks really cohesive. We have the same look. We have the same theme across all of the apps, which I find very good. QPDF view, install Manjaro Linux. So let's go back down here. We've already looked at Firefox. Let's open the file manager. And there's the file manager that you would have. These areas over here are locked down. See if there's any hidden preferences. We can do icons. You can do a list instead of icons. Do it by name. It doesn't look like we have, yeah, that's not. And size, it won't let us change the size yet. I right click. Yeah, so there's a couple things couple of bugs still in it but I mean for a nightly build and something that's brand new it is very impressive it is a good looking distribution it's going to be based on Manjaro so you know it's going to be stable for an arch and I love the top bar the top bar has got just enough opacity that when you do change a wallpaper it kind of just blends in so that was a quick first look at a nightly build of Manjaro cute fish if you guys want to see me cover some more about this OS, put it down in the comments below. Tell me what you think about this OS down in the comments below. And remember, don't forget to like and subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. If you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. Plus, it gets you entered into the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway that we're doing on August 31st, 2021. Remember, tell me what you think about Manjaro Cutefish down in the comments. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next video.